So here for Werribee TV at Avalon Airport Oval on the back of a really tough loss to Richmond at the Swinburne Centre on the weekend, but it didn't stop the Dominator himself from doing his best work at the coalface. Don Brew, he is our player of the week for round 17. Dom, really disappointing result on the weekend, especially considering uh, you're a lot closer, really, and, and in the contest a lot more than what the final score would suggest. Yeah, look, Mitchy, to be honest with you, I thought we were uh, a lot closer than we were. Um, we did have good passages of play there, but we were let down by just some defensive transitioning and that sort of stuff. But we're building towards a really good, uh, some good structures and that sort of stuff. So without doubt, we'll be really good in the near future. So through the middle stages, the numbers stacked up pretty well for you, particularly the forward entries. You managed to get on top there, but probably just weren't quite as clean as you could have been going forward. Is that something you discussed as a group during the week? Yeah, obviously we haven't been converting as well as we'd like to. In Northern Blues, we didn't really convert. Um, on the weekend, we sort of got it in. They had a, bit, they had a few more scoring shots, but then again, if we start converting and getting the ball in a bit deeper and a bit cleaner, therefore that stuff starts to work. So it speaks for itself, I suppose. Another strong game from you in spite of the result. Um, once again, you've continued to be a real force with your tackling this year and, and probably even step that up a notch. But I think the one area of your game that's really uh, come forward this year is you work around the clearances and actually winning the ball out of the middle. Is it something you've worked on specifically? Yeah, I've yeah, worked on a fair bit. Since now that Hanson went out with injury, I've sort of tried to... Um, me and Tommy and Sods and the other boy and Beamer and that, you know, try to fill his boy because he's a clearance specialist. So, um, yeah, just trying to pick up the slack there a bit. And yeah, it's been going all right, I suppose. You mentioned Sods, the captain Michael Sodomarco, back in the middle for the last two weeks, yep. having come up from defence. Uh, must be good to have his leadership uh, as part of that midfield yep. group, particularly when he's playing as well as he is. Yeah, it's great to have Sods in there. Um, it's good when he goes down back, but it's good in the midfield as well. He just runs. He's so clean through the middle of the ground. It's um, really helps us out with their organisation. And uh, yeah, he sort of got that defensive mindset. So it helps us, helps the midfielders sort of keep aware. And yeah, no, it's great having him in the midfield. Uh, there were a few changes uh, to the lineup. Uh, on the weekend, we saw Sods come back into the middle, Kurt Aylett go down back. Uh, one that uh, probably raised a few eyebrows was Ben Maloney going into the ruck, uh, yeah. all of six foot nothing. Yeah. Uh, probably an interesting choice going in the ruck. Um, can you give us some insight into the motivation there? Not sure, really. Uh, I think I'll just give the old fellow a run in there, but uh, I don't know. I don't know, Mitchie. You got me there, mate. Uh, just another on baller, I'm assuming. Uh, you know, Bez has uh, sort of only got one key ruck at the moment. The coaches are picking sort of either small or tall side, so give Beam or a, or a Matty Brett or something, gives Bez a chop out in there. We well, did manage to get a stat a out, in, yeah. in, in the hit out, so he's pretty chuffed about yeah. that, I think, um, yeah. all over it on Twitter later in the day. But uh, you're up against Coburg this week, yeah. obviously a really good opportunity to, to bounce back, and, and now you get the chance to do it in front of a TV audience and, and, and what could be a, a big crowd, considering uh, the big news today is yeah. that you'll be trialling some new rules. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be great, you know, two standalone clubs going at it. I think that'll be the first time on TV, I'm not sure, don't quote me on that. But no, it'll be great with the, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting with the rule change, but we're looking to bounce back, have a good strong win. Um, Coburg obviously haven't done, gone as well as they thought they'd go this year, neither of us. But um, with these last three games, we want to put our best foot forward for next year and work on the key areas that we want to work on. Do you discuss the rule change as much from a strategy point of view, or is it pretty much just business as usual at this stage? Uh, pretty much business as usual. They're not two really big rule changes. It's just the squares doubled in size, in lengthways, and the six, six, six line up in so six in the fifty, six in the middle, and six in the back fifty. So it's not too different. So it's just pretty much business as usual. Well, Dom, bad luck on the result on the weekend. Well done on your game personally, and uh, he's hoping you can bounce back against the Lions uh, in front of a, a big viewership on the weekend. Yeah, thanks, Mitchie. Cheers.